Hello students, myself Bhavna Nile, I am assistant professor in the department of biotechnology. biotechnology. Today, I am going to tell you some concepts about mutations, a genetic change. Students, when the term change comes, it fears in the mind whether the change will be beneficial, whether the change will be harmful. The same things comes at the cellular level. So today we are going to see the concepts in the mutation that is definition, history, effects and the types of mutations. So in the figure you can see is the picture of a cell which is having chromosome. So chromosome is having DNA which is the hereditary material of the cell. So the DNA sequence is specific to each organisms like we all have different fingerprints the same thing is applied in the DNA sequence which is very unique and very specific to each organisms. When DNA undergoes changes in its base pair sequences it is termed as mutations. So overall if you see mutation is the change in DNA sequences. If you see in the figure here CG which is the base pair right in the middle is changed to T. Here the C is changed to T. That means there is the alteration in the sequence of the nucleotide base. So this we call as mutations. Usually the cell can recognize any damage caused by the mutation. This is a fortunate thing students that your cell are able to understand the damage that is caused by the mutation and they can very well repair it before it becomes permanent. But if a cell fails to repair the damage it may have certain effects. So a cell which has faced the damage, a cell which has faced the alteration becomes mutant cells. So a mutant cells can be defined as a cell which is having mutations. Likewise a cell which doesn't have or which doesn't suffer any type of change or damage in the sequences are wild type cells or we can say they are normal cells. Now coming to the history which where which is the basis which is the driving force of the mutations is in 19 not one, it was Hugo de Veres used the term mutation to describe the sudden inheritable change in evening primrose. It was uh, the Hugo de Veres who actually coined the term mutation. He found out that there is some morphological change in the flower color while he was studying the genetic experiments conducted on the evening primrose. So he coined beautifully as sudden inheritable change to be called it as mutations. Moving further in 1904 it was T.H. Morgan who first reported on the paper uh, he studied in the population of the Drosophila. It was found out that the white color population of the Drosophila in the complete population of red colored flies. So here if you see a red color fly was abnormal among the population of all red eye flies. So he was the first to report the sudden change. Next it was 1928 H.G. Mueller he used x-rays to induce mutation in the sequences. So before it mutation was considered as very spontaneous as very sudden events but it was the experimental uh, benefits out of the x-rays that has been inducing the change in the cells and we called it as induced mutation. So Mueller was the first to uh, to experiment the physical parameter to induce the mutation. Now what could be the effects of mutations? So the effect of mutations can either be harmful, either it could be beneficial mutations or it could be neutral mutations. So harmful mutations are those mutations which are having the 
negative impact on the cell or on the organisms so this could alter the change in the cell or the sequence of the nucleotide in such a way that it can render the functioning of the cell completely inactive or it could stop the function of the cell to more higher level or to at more serious note such harmful mutation can even lead to genetic disorders or even cancer yes so next category is beneficial mutations so beneficial word itself it is saying that it is showing some advantage to the organism so it has the positive effect on the or organism or the positive effect on the cell so beneficial mutation students have played a major role in the sequence of speciations so evolution point of view if you see the higher hierarchy you will find that it is the beneficial mutation which has helped the organism to adopt the change in ever changing environment so it has gained the function of the cell and it has helped the organism to survive third category is neutral mutation neutral mutations means no net beneficial mutation or no net harmful mutation so no change in the mutation or we can also call it as silent mutation even if the sequences of the dna is changed but it is not causing or posing any effect the effect is not seen even it is not observable such mutation are termed as neutral mutation or silent mutations now if you see what is the basis what is the molecular basis of gene mutations so mutations can occur spontaneously so what is the molecular basis of spontaneous mutations so spontaneous the spontaneous mutations could be because of the replication error so as we all know students dna replicates itself so while copying its content if by chance there is error or there is a mistake in copying the sequences of the dna it may lead to spontaneous mutations next if there is spontaneous lesion lesion means some damage if there is some spontaneous mutation in the structure of the dna or the sequences of the dna or the base pairs it may lead to sudden or the spontaneous change so that we categorized under spontaneous lesions third is transposition transpositions is movement so students in nature it has been found out that genetic material tend to move their location from one place to other so they randomly shift the sequences from one pair one place to other such transposition or movement are basically mediated by mobile gene elements what is it mobile gene elements so the beauty of this uh, mobile gene elements are they have a characteristic feature of moving around the sequence of the genome so this was about the molecular basis of spontaneous mutations now coming to the molecular basis of induced mutations induced mutation always requires an external factor which we coined as mutagen so mutagen is any agent it can be either chemical it could be either physical or biological agent which helps to cause the mutation or which is responsible to cause mutations so this is the molecular basis of induced induced mutation in the cell lastly i would like to uh side down the major types of mutation that is been classified so on the basis of the classification first on the basis of the origin so on the basis of origin the mutation as we have already discussed is categorized into two groups spontaneous as well as induced the major feature of spontaneous mutation is the mutation can occur in the absence of known mutagen 
whereas in the case of induced mutation it always it always occurs in the presence of mutagen now the second basis of classification is on the cell type so mutation which type of cell in which type of cell the mutation is occurring so if you say the somatic cell as we know somatic cells are non reproductive cells or we can also call somatic cell as body cells right so mutation occurring in the somatic mutation are called as somatic mutations and the mutation if it is happening in the germ line or in the reproductive cells we called it as germ line mutations students mutation occurring in the germ line becomes hereditable so it that mutation is passed from one generation to another generation so it may lead to genetic defects genetic disorders such mutations are not good third basis of classification is based on the expression so based on the expression mutations are categorized into two types conditional and unconditional so conditional here means restrictive condition and permissive conditions suppose if there is certain restrictive condition the wild type cell becomes mutant and under the permissive condition it remains in the normal phase for the very classic example of expression system is temperature sensitive mutations so temperature sensitive mu uh, mutations occurs when a certain temperature is given to the cell the cell tends to mutate itself the cell tends to change from wild type to mutant phenotype so this is on the basis of the expression students now last but definitely not the least is effect on the function now what is uh, on the on the in the basis of function the mutation types seen as loss of function means the elimination of the normal function of the cell second is hypomorphic mutations wherein it reduces the normal function so it may reduce the expression of the proteins signaling of the genes so they are categorized under hypomorphic sec third is hypermorphic wherein there is increase in the normal function so whatever the function a normal cell is performing it may increase the function it may increase the rate of gene expression so that is nothing but your hypermorphic mutations lastly gain of function so the word itself says gain gain means some function some new function has been gained by the cell so expressed at incorrect time now something is gaining but what is the key feature here to remember students is the expression is at incorrect time in incorrect time or in inappropriate cell type so gain of function and loss of function mutations becomes the molecular basis of cancer students so that's it from my side thank you students for the patience listening have a nice day